Yeah, fellas, what you're looking at is actually PowerPoint. This is not a Word document. It's actually using PowerPoint. And PowerPoint is a great way to do graphics style graphics without knowing how to use, uh, what is that thing they accuse me of knowing? Um, that Adobe program. Fuck. I'm sorry, I just can't remember the name of the program. Uh, someone accused me of using that years ago. I just learned how to use PowerPoint. And just yesterday, I realized this would make great flyers if I use it there because the tools are easy to use. Like, see how the words are over, kind of over arm? All I did was click on this photograph, and I typed, I clicked on send to the back. So I could put words over. It looks, looks like a, I did a professional job. Like, I know something. It's a great way to create also main pages. Uh, this is actually uh, also I turn this into uh, a main page. So I suggest you guys learn to use PowerPoint, and PowerPoint comes with your um, Microsoft Office bundle. Now let's look at the title. I'm a personal trainer. I'm bringing my business online. What do women worry about? Losing weight. What do they want? They want to lose weight fast. So that's the title. Then I, it says online personal training workout program will help you. Then that's the benefits. Lose weight rapidly. Drop inches like magic. Uh, work out at home. A lot of girls, because of you guys, they're afraid to go to the gym. Because of, not you guys per se, but, you know, guys in general. The creepy dudes that stare at them from across the gym. They're already dressed in gym clothes, and you can see the curve of their buttocks and all that kind of stuff. Women get self-conscious. They get creeped out by guys that stare in the gym. That's why I'm in business. Women were coming to the left and right in my days to train because they couldn't stand going to the gyms. Then they had to walk out to the car and worry about you males raping them or attacking them or following them home. So because of males, you males in general, I have a market of women that don't want to work out gyms. They're forced to because there's nothing for their home. Uh, I said daily eating program. Everything you know, is, is revolved around either losing weight or looking good. That might benefits. Daily eating program, drop pounds, uh, get a super flat stomach. They worry about that. Uh, tone up flabby arms quickly. Rapidly, yes, rapidly. Let me say it right. Rapidly lift and round old tire buns. That's a problem that women have. Their buns start to sag. And they want to have a J-Lo butt. Get firm thighs. Recapture. Here's the big one, though. Recapture your loved one's interest. you got to know the bottom line of your market's interest level. You know, what's the bottom line? Why are you really doing this? Like, if you're a trainer and people come to train with you, why do you really want to train and work out? What's the real reason? Sometimes it's like, they want to get ready for my next one, get ready for a wedding or a special event. Uh, but underneath that, there might be that their loved one has kind of lost interest in them. They want to get their sexy back. Okay. Uh, online personal training, of course, I put in a cost thing. Join now, cost less than dinner for two. That's per month, though. Then I put in some um, social proof. Coached by Sacramento's premier trainer. This is me in the Sacramento uh, B newspaper. This is actually my front page. So I'm using my front page. You know, you can call me. I, I put my number up there, or you can uh, click Learn More. When they click Learn More, they're taken to uh, a web page. Let me see if I can actually show that. I don't want to. So you know, from my background, Rachel, she lost over 35 pounds. This client of mine lost over 93 pounds. She got a boyfriend. That's an Italian guy. She was she was big, huge. Uh, this client's been with me over 20 years. She is now 69 years of age and still training with me, except she's out on another cancer. She had cancer three years ago, and she's out for four months to get through the chemo. Uh, this one, she's an educator. She was with me for over 16 years. Uh, this is my, she's a, she was, she did ballet and she's also an interior designer. She drove from San Francisco all the way to Sacramento to keep training with me. 
Then I showed some of the boot camps I've done in our famous park out here called McKinley Park. Boot camps. Uh, then I showed other stuff. It's more proof that I know what I'm talking about, that I know what I'm doing. Okay? So, as far as as um, my business, I'm, I'm kind of, I used to be well known. For the last, since 2004, I've reduced my business down to just, I think I'm down to four people now. And I'm barely keeping it open. That's why I'm moving online. I don't want to train clients anymore. I've done my time working with people. I want to bring my business online. So I'm finding ways to expand my business and make even more money. Because when it's down to just hourly, and I did groups, you still are, are limited by your hours. With bringing your business online, I recommend that for everyone, uh, except for beginning personal trainers. you got to learn to work with people because training is a people business. It's about relationships. And if you don't have social skills, you're going to suck at training. If you come into your training with, with sex on the mind, you're going to fail at training. Or oh, I'm going to be able to get this hot female or whatever. Uh, they're dukes. You will suck as a trainer. A trainer is someone that actually cares about their clients and want to see them successful. Okay? It's a people thing. If your people skills suck, you will suck. Okay? Just to let you know that. If you have poor eye contact, you'll suck at everything that you do also. I'm realizing that a lot of my fellows, you guys have very bad eye contact. And that's why you look awkward and creepy. Because you haven't learned basics of eye contact. So I'm going to come out with more information in the near future. How to improve eye contact. Um, getting back on point. Actually, I think I'm going to make this video and put it on my other computer. Because I have Windows 7 other computer, and you put it through my my video program and cut it up, so I can edit out things that I don't want people you know finding this website because there are trolls out there. Anyway, um, so as as you start to expand yourself, I don't know what you're you're into, your hobbies are. You want to turn your hobby something that you would talk about for free. into your business. Now, people think because I got sick and gained a ton of weight that I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I'm on my forum. People rarely ask me about diet advice because I look like I should be on a fucking diet. Don't know I've been on prednisone and I've been sick for six years and I just actually just stopped giving a damn until recently. Until recently, I really actually do care now because I have to go back out and start marketing myself. So for that reason alone, I, I've got to drop some weight to make myself more marketable. It's just a matter of survival for me now. So I, last week, I lost five pounds. Just that quick. I, I changed the way I'm doing my, my cardio. I've amped it up a bit. I do. I try to do five boosts on my life cycle where I boost it up and I do 100%. And I love that. I love that feeling of challenging my body, and I miss it. It's like having good sex that you haven't had in a long time. You miss it. That's how I was. I love pushing myself. So that's also one of, was one of my things I should be sharing with people as well. But people on forum, they don't ask me questions about it. You know, they miss one of the best people they actually talk to. And so they go to these, these steroid people on YouTube. And start copying, you know, steroid programs. And they wonder why they fail. If you're in the last hangout, you heard I know talk about the, the little program I gave them produced so much good results because I know the science of tricking the body into growth, getting around all the obstacles to making you grow. Twenty nine years is a long time to be doing something, don't you think? So getting back to this, um, I'm going to be moving that business online. I've done it before. You you participated in my abs class. You guys got hard abs. Uh, you've done my personal training where I recorded. I'm going to be doing the same thing, only for women and expanding myself. Okay, I've already produced the first workout with Jovina. She's a video. She's guiding them through what I invented. I invented a system called mini circuits because I studied you know giant sets, super sets, and I realized 
hmm, I can give, give my clients a cardio workout that will help them burn fat and lose weight and drop inches rapidly. At the same time, they can tone up. Wow. And I figured that out way back in the 80s. I was the only one in my town doing this. A couple of people have trained with me when I started doing business. They stole my style, basically. Or they've had uh, ex-clients of mine that, you know, float around trying different things. Uh, tell them about, hey, you should do it the way Chris Arnett does it. Somehow my style has gotten out, though. Or maybe they forgot their home. I don't know. I'm not the only smart person out there. But when you can do a system that allows you to, to lose weight rapidly, tone up your body at the same time, and boost your metabolism, because that's the key thing right there that I've learned about in last week, or actually two weeks. I started boosting about two weeks ago. When you can rev your metabolism up, your fat burning lasts for 24 to 48 hours after that. That is why my aerobic students look so much more different than other people's aerobic students. Because I push them into that anaerobic stage. I push their bodies as hard as I could, as hard as I could do myself. And I only weighed 159 pounds. With, with, I was all muscle. I love walking around with my, sh my shirt off. Didn't even touch weights. I had a, already had a big chest. That's the first thing that grows on me, my chest. And I had the six-pack. And the small 27-inch waist. 27. I said 27. So there you have it. Something that I can sell that will do people a lot of good. When you come from wanting to do, do people a lot of good instead of the money aspect of it, you're going to see more success in your life, fellas. You'll see a lot more success because you're not focused on the money. Now, I do need the money because I need to survive. After I move, after they terminated my last account, uh, I'm trying to build my business back up in this account. And I've, I've got done okay, but not like I used to be. Okay, nowhere near. So it's been hurting me financially. Enough, I'm still surviving. You know, I make ends meet, but not like I used to. So I need to get it back there. And if you have a situation in your life where you're struggling financially, think about your hobbies. Think about your hobbies. Let me just use Grease 2000. Grease 2000 is like putting together uh, action figures. That's his hobby. Can't laugh at it. It's respectable. How can he make that a profitable thing for him? Number one, he can actually import, export the stuff, go and import, export. He could do videos on how to, because he does very detailed work. It puts his big brain and mind into something that he can focus on. That type of work, you've got to have a big brain. He can do videos on it. He can teach classes on it. He can get dwell, go into the business, open up a site, sell the stuff from the site, or do Amazon drop shipping, and you have another fortune. See how easy peasy that is? My son Donnie likes flying um, either quad, copters. Well, he actually built a drone. My son Donnie built a fucking drone. And he's got the cameras on it. Now, when he had the quadcopters, I suggested to him because I saw someone did this. They fly over weddings and show video and photos from above the wedding. They're something right there above the wedding and then taking photos. That's a great business. There are multiple weddings every weekend that he could have sold himself to. 
and been making a fortune. Something that he enjoys doing. Find something that you enjoy doing, fellas. I enjoyed teaching aerobics, believe it or not. I really enjoyed that because I would put together my routines. I never did the same routine um, uh, in, in, twice in a row. That's a lot of creativity. I love being creative. I'm right brain. That's on your more creative side. That's how it came out. And I have this little system of putting together routines. I was going to teach it at the world. Uh, every year the fitness industry does these world conferences, but I was too afraid to fly. I lost my opportunity towards great success in that industry because of that reason. Stupid. But I do it now, even though I haven't taught since 2005. But getting back on point, you take what you enjoy doing, and you find a way to help other people. I taught my classes because they were fun. I learned how to make them fun. I used to only teach just, you know, killer classes. That was fun to me. Then I switched over to, you know, I was teaching at a dance studio, so they like routines, dance routines. So I started creating this dance aerobics routines they were killer kick ass so the the workouts still combine that that high energy that that kick your ass shit because we learn i taught the routine the heart rate's all the way jacked up and then you learn the entire routine you repeat it to the, by the end of the class you repeat that routine over and over again and boom they're melted meltdown i only taught 32 eight counts because that's how music was phrased so four blocks of four movements, and bam, I could melt my, my students down, give them the benefits of high energy workout, which is a fat burning workout, and the, the revved up metabolism after it was over. What do you love? My question is, what do you enjoy doing? Hmm? Do you like to fly? Um, Quads, hey, they also need people to do that kind of stuff. Like, <clears throat> if someone's buying a house, here's something that's new that's coming out. They're now going to have quads flying over you on the house for sale, showing from the aerial view, showing the neighborhood, so that people that are, are in, thinking of investing in homes can see the neighborhood. And they, the real estate agent can show it right there, have it right there on their site. Here's the neighborhood. So it will help sell homes. Hey, I'm not suggesting you go out and suddenly buy a helicopter you've never flown before. That's stupid. When people offer you package deals, don't ever do it. Only follow what you love to do. By doing that, it allowed me to quit my job at Pacific Bell Telephone and start my first business. Okay, yes, it allowed me to start my first business. I supported my family through that. I told you at one point I was making almost eight grand a month. I used to try to walk around with $100 in my pocket and spend it every day. Jovina, I have more clothes than Jovina has, and she's a woman. I had more shoes when I moved in with her. Yeah, more clothes. I have two clothes. I still have... Uh, closet and half full of clothes, and the main closet or the cloak, the coat closet in the hallway is full of my clothes, my coats left over from back then. I took my hobby and turned it into a money maker for myself. There's nothing wrong with doing what you love and earning from it. Even then, I didn't even do it the right way, as I realized. I didn't charge enough. Just think of how much money I could have been making. And there are trainers that are making over $100,000 a year in my business, in my market. Like, wow. So that's my story. What is your story going to be? What will you learn to do? What will you do with this information I've just given you? How many of you are going to sit there and go on to the next video, surf on YouTube, 
for something to entertain you. Those types, they probably dropped off actually a long, long time ago because this wasn't entertaining for them. If you're still listening, what is your story going to be? That's my question. <laughs>